Okay, now I'm going to show you how to export your work. Now this is uh, extremely important to do um, towards the critique because as you're coming up to um, a deadline, I would highly recommend uh, when you're getting your work to its final stages um, that a day or two before you start getting into the habit of every three hours or at least every time you do a significant amount of work you export um, an array of images. It doesn't take long but it'll reveal if there's any issues with your referenced files, it'll give you an error message and it'll also give you something that you can if your computer were to crash or if you were to um, run out of time you would have these files as a backup you could quickly um, tidy up in a program like Photoshop um, cover up all the blemishes as it were and submit it's a, a trick that it, it works as an insurance policy a trick that you learn along the way so file and export that brings up our export window so very similar to our save window but if we go as save as type you'll see we have a bunch of different file formats including the AutoCAD, DWG and DXF drawing formats I mentioned before you can import and export in those formats BMP which is an image file SWF which is um, a flash format um, for those of you familiar with Adobe Flash um, JPEG another um, picture format Photoshop format is PSD. PNG is an image format that, if you remember the transparency video, um, enables the white to be transparent. So if you were to reference this file into Photoshop, it would act as though it was um, um, had a multiply transparency setting on it. Text uh, we don't use, um, well at least I've never used, and TIFF is another image format. So often I'll just choose JPEG as the export, um, or sometimes BMP if it's uh, being a little buggy, um, which it can often do, depending on your reference files. Um, things can get quite complicated, but I will choose uh, JPEG for the moment. So a3panel.jpg. Okay, and now we get to choose our quality because JPEG is an image compression. Um, don't forget, that's why we get um, quite small uh, file sizes for quite significantly large images. It's using an algorithm. So we're able to choose the quality with which that algorithm um, displays the images. So we can choose um, often um, if file size isn't a real big deal, I'll put it up to maximum and leave the color, mode at, uh, color model at CMYK, um, CMYK naturally. If you're finding um, you're having issues with the size of your images, if for example this were one page or 50 that had to be referenced into an InDesign document you, and uh, the quality was not was uh, relatively negligible, you could put the uh, image quality down and save yourself some file size. Uh, baseline standard optimized progressive. Um, I haven't really noticed a massive difference in the work I've done, but I usually go optimized. It sounds better and resolution 150 if I'm printing on a um, um, if I'm going to end up printing this A3 panel on a um, um, printer but if I'm going for a plotter I'd be tempted to go 300 dpi nowadays just because some plotters are incredibly um, high in their um, ability to print resolution and I have been caught out printing at 150 dpi and ending up with a um, a um, pixelated image when I went to a professional printing place. Um, so type optimized uh, hinting is what I usually um, go for if there's a lot of text but art optimized will make your images look slightly better. And that's for anti-aliasing so that's just the algorithm that follows um, and uh, tidies up some of the pixels around the edges of your images. But none of this stuff is um, too fundamental but will um, make a difference as you go on and you recognize slight differences in the quality. Okay, so I'll click OK and we'll see a bar that tells us it's exporting our artwork and there we go. You'll notice it said not responding next to it. Um, I wasn't surprised because often programs can crash and uh, this is why it's important to save. I was fortunate it didn't that time, but if I was dealing with a couple of A0 panels, um, you know, uh, it, it can crash. And this is just the nature of the beast. Um, no matter what program you're working in, 
um, sometimes things get on top of it which is why it's important to save very frequently you'll learn that as you go